Bro, what are you doing? I'm doing arm day. What, what is I'm, I'm warming up. Arm. You know what? Cut, cut the camera. Oh. Cut the All right, so today we're doing arm day with Chef Rush. Look at the size of these damn things. That's what I'm trying to be like one day. I'm not quite there yet. I got a long way to go, but we're going to get there together. Follow us along. We'll do a quick workout today. You can do it at your house or go to the gym and do it yourself later on at some point. Let's go. Let's get to it. What kind of things do you like to do to warm up to get ready and like start off your arm day? Well, you know, I'm going to do the old cliche where I stretch. I do okay. stretch. You know, as you get older, you know, everybody forget about stretching. At the same time, I want to do a warm up, right? I want to start off heavy and go in that part of it because if you've seen in the past, some of the big guys, yeah. who just start off right off the top, tear a peck. It's not all about tight shirts. You gotta get the blood flowing, especially like you said, as you get older. My shirt's not tight. Well, it's tighter than mine is right now. <laughs> all right, let's let's get to it. What do let's you get to uh, it. What do you want to start? With? Start doing dumbbells. Dumbbells. I say pick your poison. It's not about how heavy it is, because we're gonna have stages to this. What I've always done since I've been a kid is muscle memory, yeah. endurance, longevity. So sense. my thing is about endurance. I'm a reverse type of person on that part. I don't use your pound, I use a percentage wise. So I go for my okay. highest, I go 50%, 40%, 60%, and I'll let you pick it. Let's start at like maybe 50%. 50% for me is probably like 25 pound dumbbells. And how many reps do you typically like to do to start off? So or in general? here is the thing about rep. Like I said, I'm an endurance trainer. And I also like to work around my biceps. You know, you got two heads to the bicep, you have three heads to the triceps. Triceps are 75% of these big arms. So if you want big arms, work on your triceps, <laughs> all three heads of them. This exercise is special to me because I started doing it when I was a kid. Okay. It's called a tricep. Okay. When I do it with a partner, we do a mirror effect. We don't let them go individually. We do it as much as possible at the same time. The first movement is gonna be this. It's gonna be one. One. And we're gonna do that all the way till we get to 10. Okay. When we go to get to 10, we're gonna go switch. And then we're gonna go here. Bam. Cool, yeah. So, yeah. no, no, I'm just gonna show you the second movement. Second okay. movement is here, right here. Bam. Yeah, yeah. Right? Not like this. It's yeah. like this. This is much different. Now, that's the second one. Now okay. for the third one, when I go switch, it's just gonna be here. Regular hammer. All right, this is gonna be our first tricep for our biceps. Ready? All right, let's here do it. Go. And hit one. Oh, okay, yep. regular, regular, regular. And here, two. Okay. Regular again? Yep. Okay. Two. Two. Here we go. Ten. Ten. And ten. Ten. All right. Okay. Now, that's first one. Okay. Now, second one. 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 And ten. Ten. And ten. Ten. And you still got the hammer still. And you still got the hammer to go. Oh, man. You ready for it? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. 10, 10, and 10, 10. Uh, yeah, that'll smoke you real quick. Your biceps get real tight. You start getting filled up with feel? blood. How often do you work out like per week? In, in a realistic world, I'm sorry, in an unrealistic world, I will work out five days a week. In my realistic world, if I get three days, I'm happy. I'll be honest with you, I used to have a mindset when I was younger where it's like, I don't care if I get in after 20 hours, I'm gonna still go to the gym. My body is not accepting that. Yeah. Realistically, me being a chef, I've done 29 states this year. And four countries already. So you got to be realistic with your goals and what you're thinking. Yeah. So if I'm doing this three times out of the week, I make sure it counts. If I do it one time out of the week, I make sure it counts. I'm going to do it like it's my full session. We technically did three sets, but we're we only starting off. We did one set. We did one set. We did one set. <laughs> we're getting on number two now. So now okay. we're going a little bit heavier. So we're going up yeah. about our 50% to maybe like 58%, 60% maybe. Yeah. This time we're going to go a little bit more smoother and faster. Okay. But I'm more concentrated. We want to do peaks at the top. So okay. you want to do a squeeze at the top now. A squeeze. Follow me. Don't go behind me. Follow me at the same time. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm doing all my three, two, and one. You okay. ready for it? Cool. Three, two, one. Here we go. One. one. Here we go. One. One. Two. Ten, ten. Yeah. Here we go. One. One. Ten and ten. Oh, it's getting tight. I can feel it. Here we go. Let's do it. Ten, ten. and ten. ten. Woo! I need some water. <laughs> Drink water. <laughs> the next thing we're gonna be doing is with an easy bar. Easy right? bar, crooked bar, whichever way you want to pronounce. So this one is gonna be our partner assisted exercise, okay. right? We're gonna do this as a team, first off. Okay. It keeps you more engaged, more active, and it makes you push harder. This is one that I came up a very long time ago that I used the very day. I'm not gonna lie to you. I usually use this one to break men. Oh, that's <laughs> good. Even odd. Even. He's even, I'm odd. Odd is O, outside. Even.
oven is inside. I'm gonna grab the bar outside, odd, okay. and I'm gonna do one. He's always on the inside, so he's even. So I get one, give it to him, he does two. Back one, to me, three, two. Okay. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay. to 21. 21. One. 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 Two. two. Nice and clean so far. Three. Three. Okay. Try to stabilize yourself. I got one leg out a little bit. I don't want to rock. Okay. One. Now we're doing six. I can see why this gets hard. I can feel the sweat pouring down my back Eight right now. Eight, yep. Oh, boy, that gets real hard. This is the hard part right here. All right, now we gotta do 16. All done? <laughs> All ready. <laughs> it comes back so fast. He's like, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> so, Rule of thumb is, from endurance training, the more you do, the easier it should become. Like this is heavy, and this is my 21, he's done it. So now I have to think that this is easier than the 21 I'm getting ready to do, and make it seem like it's only two. So here we go. Two, three, four. Make it look easy, dude. <laughs> Unbroken, bro. How'd that feel? Well, I feel like I can't pick anything up off the ground if I drop my keys or something like that. All right, so we just got slayed with some biceps. Now we're gonna do some triceps. Do you think it's good when you're doing arm day to like alternate between buys and tries? Thing? You know, the only time I would do that if I'm doing consecutively all the way through. I wouldn't okay. do like a bunch of biceps and then go to a bunch of triceps. This is me personally now. This is my opinion for my growth and what I've learned is because I don't want them to rest that long. Let's say for instance, if you're doing chest and tries. Chest, you're doing a push, but you also push with triceps. Yeah. That's goes in conjunction with it. Okay. You're not really doing anything with biceps that's gonna affect your triceps. Yeah. So no, I go my full range of it and do it unless I'm double dipping. Double dipping means that I am going triceps and biceps at the same time. Right now we're gonna be doing our triceps and we're gonna be getting them big and plump and juicy. This is gonna be a press day. Press day, you're gonna hit your triceps. Remember I said earlier about double dipping, primary, secondary? It's gonna hit your chest secondary. Primary, your first is forward. This one, easy. I'm gonna go over here deep and wide and I'm gonna push down this way. By the way, if you can't tell, there's four 45 pound plates on the back of this bad boy. Is it really? I thought yeah. it was one. Yeah. <laughs> all the way up, all the way up. Only stretch it out, stretch it out. There you go. Stop at the top, bam. Seven. There you go, feet are different, bam. Oh. Set. How'd it feel? I did chest day yesterday. That's good, because <laughs> it's a tricep day. Yeah. It's not chest day, it's a yeah. tricep yeah. day. So one thing I always like to do when I'm doing something and I'm working out with someone, I do the tester. We'll do the tester like we do the biceps and we'll do the whole part of it. And at the end, when we're totally exhausted, we'll do somewhat like a burnout. But we don't do a burnout with a lighter weight, we do a burnout with the same weight or a heavier weight. So the rule of thumb is, because we're partners, okay. so you do my minimum or pass. And if you do pass what my minimum is, I have to do push-ups but we'll do if you don't do my minimum you gotta do push-ups which is gonna be hard because my chest is very sore this is not chest, yesterday this is, not chest day. This is it's gonna be this tough is a day. <laughs> it's all right i'll pay the price you know what i'm saying <laughs> god almighty bro how many was that 50. 50? Only 50. we're gonna try to get 50. Oh, bro! I got forty. I could have kept going. Damn! You could, I, you, you could have kept I going. I wussed out. It was he he wussed out. He was, damn! Because he had ten more up. in it. And I saw it because you kept jumping. You kept jumping. You yeah. got anxious. Well, I need to get my ten that you I got owe. Your 10. I owe ten. <laughs> All right. And see, you got it for nothing. You had ten. I right know. There. I know. You That's what I'm saying. I'm like literally. Oh. All right, so now we're gonna do a different tricep exercise than we just did. What are we gonna do now, Chef? So we're going to do a skull crusher. 
A couple different ways to do a skull crusher. People have said, you know, like you mentioned earlier, you can do it with the dumbbell, kind of going over your head. You can do it with the easy bar or the crooked bar. Yeah. Going here, some people do it at an angle this way. I'm gonna go old school CT gauntlet type of way, right? Shout out to CT Fletcher. <laughs> Shout out to CT Fox. Yeah. If you ever do the gauntlet, it is a repetition of these going down the line, all the way up and all the way down. I'm not gonna do them to him today because it's gonna hurt him, it's gonna hurt me. So we're gonna do these individual styles, but we're also gonna have our heads over Normally we would do these on the floor, but you'll hit the ground. I don't want to hit the ground. Yeah. I want you to have that nice stretching part like I told you earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want you to come in full range of motion. Right. All the way up, all the way down. And that's the way you make the world go round. So, ready? Yeah, all right. let's do it. You're getting such a good pump, you're about to rip your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, 25. 25. How many did you get? I did 25. Okay. <laughs> Let me try for five more. Five more. Five more. Five more. <laughs> That's a lot harder than it looks. Let me tell you. Dang. It's about to get real tough real quick. I'll tell you right now. Just think of it like this. It's your last one you got to do. Yeah. See? We can do it. Incentive. Stop motion. Oh, okay. And 90 degree angle. Not like this. Yeah. Like this. That's like a 45 almost. Yeah. That changes the entire dynamic of the lift. The thing is, is like when you're doing these types of complex, it's not super complex, but it's hard to mentally remind yourself to stay in that position. You have to think through it and be like, stay at this position. Don't move, stay at 45. Oh, I'm a little too far forward. Oh, I need to bring it back a little bit. All right, I'm gonna get as many as I can. All right. Doing it the right way. you can at 25. Doing it the right way. Doing it the right way. Remember that 45 degree angle. There you go, right there. Go back a little bit more. Right there, that's your angle. Right there, yep. <laughs> you see where I'm at right now? I'm like failing right now. I'm there you go. You're doing good. 11, 12. <laughs> Halfway, Halfway, bro. Give me what you got. Give me what you got to failure. 13, 14. Now just bang them out. Damn. Here we go. Three, <laughs> two. Straight. There you all go. the way straight. Give me a good one. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. And one for the give up. Okay, okay. Damn. That's awesome. My God, dude. Well, we finished our workout. We uh, got slayed. I am completely saturated with blood right now. I can't possibly fit anymore. I know he stays pumped up all the time though. So it's, it's hard to tell, you know what I'm saying? He's always pumped. We're gonna finish this out with some push-ups, right? How many push-ups are we gonna do? Uh, who knows? As many as we can, I guess. Mm. <laughs> that makes me nervous, but we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah. Let's get to it. We'll knock these push-ups out and then we'll finish it. You ready for this? I, well, I'm a damn try my best. So let's stop for one second. Okay. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. Instead of doing the numbers, we're gonna do the beginning because everything starts with beginning. One is always the hardest one that anybody has to do. It's that first step, it's that first breath, it's that first admittance, it's that first love. Everything begins with one. So okay. we're gonna do one push up today, you and I together. When we do that, the one thing I always ask everybody is you have to have a cause and reason. You know, I do mental health, suicide awareness, military, all the other stuff. So, you know, my reason, what's your reason? Damn, I wasn't prepared for some deep conversations with chefs today. Hell. You know, honestly, uh, if me doing push ups encourages other people to want to take care of their bodies and go to the gym, then that's a good thing. That's how I look at it. Hopefully, me showing people that I like to work out encourages other people to do the same thing because I know that it helps me with my mental health and it'll help other people with theirs. I love it. Let's get one. It's going to be like we were doing with the gym outside. We're going to do a mirror effect. So, we're going to go down. We're just going to do one nice, easy one. You follow me and okay. we go together. You ready for it? Yes. Let's go. No, let's, oh, no. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, we doing a slow. We doing oh. a push up. We doing a push up. Oh, we doing a push up. Man. We just doing a push up. Right here. We're going to stop for a second. Oh. And we're going to think about the we day. We're going to reminisce on how it is. We're because marinating. Part, we're cooking, baby. We're cooking. Yeah, there you, you go. You see me jiggling there around right now? I don't see you jiggling, baby. <laughs> I'm like jiggly pumped down <laughs> no, here. No, right let's now. go down more, more, more. Let's go more. Okay. Let's go more. Look at me. Look at me. Here we go. Keep All going. Right. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. <laughs> there you go. What you eat today? Eggs and pancakes. Eggs and pancakes. Yeah. What you eating later? Probably some meat and potatoes. <laughs> some meat and potatoes. I love it. I love it. Here we go. Let's go down more. Let's okay. go down more. Go down a little bit more. A little bit more. Get off the ground. There you go. You ready to go up? <laughs> <I hope so. laughs> Let's go. Push slow. Push slow. Push slow. Push slow. Push slow. Push it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hardest single push-up I've ever done in my life. Well, hey. 
I appreciate you coming. I appreciate and you, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to come here and get a lift in. You know, getting over being sick. This dude right here is a ride or die type dude. You know what I'm saying? Like he's just getting over being sick. He's been traveling like tons of different states. He got back from Rimpac, about to go to Canada in two days. Like I came into town, we had planned this out a little bit, and it's like, okay, look, I'm getting over being sick, but I'm still down. Let's do it. Let's get this done. <laughs> and and we he was able to like take time out of his busy schedule. So I appreciate that, no, man. I appreciate you. It brother. means a lot. Yeah, hopefully you guys got something out of this today. If nothing else, at least you got to watch me get slayed by Chef for like a half hour or whatever it is. Yeah, fun. Yeah. I appreciate this guy. Yeah. Literally one of the most steadfast intestinal fortitude. When you talk about military, you talk about a person that when you think about commitment, drive, endurance, leadership, if you think about all those things, this is this guy right here. I appreciate and that. And I'm man. humbled and I'll make any time of day just to be with this guy because that's what it's all about. Hey, helping brother. each other. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought about the video in the comments below. Let me know if, if you think you could have handled this workout or what you thought about the workout in general. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.